Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 21 of our Crusaders 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as a King of the Stepstones, Pirate King. So, let's continue. In the previous episode we've lost our previous character who were the Pirate King by the Kingslayer. I'm actually pretty surprised that he died at the age of 53, especially considering that he had some... Oh yeah, he died in the battle against freaking peasants. That is pretty damn unfortunate. But yeah, now we plan as a King Salador II. And... Have a pretty ni damn nice martial score. Which is giving him a... Uh, or it's gonna update in a second. Very good military ruler. It's gonna appear somewhere in here and... It's gonna give us some bonuses. Which is pretty great. And also I've been looking through our new characters and apparently... Our son somehow managed to get himself maimed, which is really terrible, because now he have not enough marshal to inherit, so I don't really know how to deal with this. Uh, one of the things I could do is give him an honorary title, as I did before, so maybe he's gonna... Uh, just for him to get more... Uh, more prestige monthly, and maybe he's gonna get enough prestige before I die to inherit, because if he's not gonna inherit, it's just gonna be awful. So you're gonna be our Seneschal. <clears throat> One Marshal. If only you had a, in, uh, an ambition to become Marshal, I would be able to appoint you and it's gonna give... and it would give him One Marshal score. But oh well, I couldn't really do this. Also we have a couple of prisoners in our prison. Who are you? Actually, are you my courtiers or what? Let me see. Could I sell you into slavery? Yeah, it's gonna raise my tyranny level, so we're not gonna be doing this. You're just gonna rot in my prison. So, also, we inherited some money from our new character, so it's also pretty useful. So, let's go and send, uh, see what could we spend it on. Tax income, cavalry, heavy infantry, private farms. I guess we could pile actually. Mm, I don't know. Let's go with uh, pirate farms level 2. And also, actually, we are really damn close to the pirate port level 5, so. Let's try to keep the money next time and try to get to 1200 and maybe get ourselves a, a pirate port level 5 also. Dude, why are you maimed? Yeah, maimed minus 2 marshal. You are so perfect. A level marshal, everything is great, but now you are just a waste. Any other things I could do like... I don't know. <laughs> Make a miracle. Okay, yeah. Let's just not think about it because I, uh, there's not really much I can do. So, get back to our conquest and stuff. You could attack Valana again right now, but in here they actually only have one province left, and I really don't want to declare a war for one province because with this kind of CB we could. Get a lot more in one war. Actually, these ones are pretty far away, and I just I don't want to. I want to be contagious and continue in a row. So you have 800 troops, and you have. And now it's not now it's showing not showing his allies and uh, again. I'm pretty sure when I'm gonna declare war on him, he's gonna call in like half of these stupid islands. After him, we could be we would be able to attack tall trees. Mm, let's wait. We have a. Uh, we don't really have that much mm, troops on ourselves right now, so uh, give them some time to replenish. The guys trying to kill each other. Okay, doesn't bother me much. Also, my son is being a little bit of a trait. Oh, never mind. He's lish loyalist. That's great. Son was born to Queen San and who the hell are you? My kinsman. 
and my paymaster. Okay, it's cool. So, uh, let's get back to pillaging. Also, probably need to manage our vassal uh, relations a little bit. Yeah, because my strongest vassal currently have minus 100 relations with me, which is not great at all. Let's try to improve relations with him. I'm really surprised that the summer dudes have so much troops. That's not supposed to be like this. Actually, this you already improving relations with him. Okay, never mind then. So we could raise two thousand troops from our vassal. So let's go and do this, as well as all of their bots. And we're just gonna go and pillage some more. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're just gonna... 87 boats. God damn it, that's a lot. Where the hell are you getting so much from? Also, I should be probably setting you to... To pillagers right away, and... You're all just gonna gather... In my... In my capital, I guess. Actually, I could set you to pillagers... Right in the capital, so let's not do this right now because it's gonna be it's gonna take too much time also it would be really great if these guys who is now ruling over this duchy would be able to convert it to our religion or our culture because it would really help uh, in the future but I actually don't really know if, if, if it's possible at all to convert someone to pirate fate because it doesn't seem like a pirate could be a really would really be a, like a legit fate and just I guess the way of life or something like this so how are you going on the boats how is this island doing halfway replenished sense free gold yeah I think I think I'm gonna visit you guys also um, oh iron throne just got combined and the wall is still controlled by, controlled by the wildlings it's kind of strange. But oh well. Doesn't bother me much. I'm too far away from the wall. Oh. Okay, now they are... <laughs> now the wildlings is the vassal of Queen. How the hell is it even possible? Okay, I don't know, but that looks fun, actually. But considering that in the TV series, they decided to cooperate with uh, with uh, black guards or whatever they called the Night's Watch that's also could be possible also we have this thing for a pirate heir to retain any higher lordship or higher they must be capable man grown and have one of the following 10 martial one son our son have none 10 diplomacy nope 500 prestige Nope, or formidable fighter or warrior. Screw you! You have only level three. God damn it! What we're gonna do with you? There's any way for me to like? Yeah, let's give you duelists when you when I had a choice. <laughs> And I only have like a second son, but he's now one year old. And I couldn't even uh, have a designated heir, so... Not like I really have any choice. Could I give like a second honorary title? No, I could not. Mm, how much prestige are you getting? You're getting one per month, so... You're gonna get to 500 at some point, but... I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to live that long. My focus is hunting, that's fine. Oh, if you were to change to war focus, you would actually have enough martial, but I couldn't force you to do this. Okay, I don't know. If only I could control you. Also, we could claim some province in the Summer Islands, but why would we do this? Also, these guys are upset about me getting their levels. That's also one of the problems of having uh, vassals of different religion and culture. Because, as I already said previously, pirates like when I pillage. And these guys dislike when I 
uh, raise their levels for for no real reason. Actually, now it's gone. Is it resolving itself? I hope it is, because it would be interesting. You are hostile towards me, yeah, that's not a surprise. Actually, with this 2000 troops, I have a feeling that we would be able to uh, burn down some weaker one holding. So why don't we go and try to look for something which have less than 2000 garrison. I think we actually... Yeah, we already been doing it on the Summer Islands, but the problem with the Summer Islands is their uh, uh, tax is not really that high, so the amount of money we're getting from them is not terribly huge. So they all have... Almost all of them have uh, their levels replenished. Let's get to the list, first of all. As we always do, because it's one of the richest provinces in here. Actually, we could also visit Tyrosh, probably. And yeah, they're hostile towards me again, uh, already. And Liz as well. I hope you're not gonna decide to... Actually, if Liz or Tyrosh declare a anti-piracy war on me, I would have a chance to win this. But if it's gonna be Volantis again, I'm just gonna get screwed. Yeah, these guys only have like 12,000 and something about uh, the same on the Tyrosh. And when my levies gonna replenish fully, I'm gonna have even more. Oh, that should be fine. But yeah, it's gonna take them like an eternity to replenish. Looks like this vassal uh, race too long is uh, happening and then going away. So maybe it is like implemented into the game or it's change, changed especially for the game so like your vassals not gonna be that upset yeah because it would be pretty stupid if I like try to avoid wars because one of the vassal don't like me raising his troops and it's like and otherwise I'm gonna have a penalty as well the guards drag Harris up from his cells and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice. Uh, I'm not gonna be handling it myself. Because I'm probably just gonna die. Oh. Hmm. So, I could handle it myself or I could give it to someone else. But, my fighting skills are worse than his. And if I were to die right now, my son would not inherit. Uh, no, I could not. I couldn't afford such risk. I'm sorry. If I were to have a choice, like uh, send one of my courtiers, I would definitely do this. But I don't want to risk my life quite yet. I know my martial skill was a lot superior than his one. But I, I have a feeling that uh, what counts in the duels is... This one, Green Sink. And I have level 1 and he had level 2, so... I probably had a pretty high chance of losing. And losing means death. And death means means losing every freaking title I have. Tyrosh, do you have some spare money for me? Actually, I could... Oh, I couldn't split them in here. That's pretty awful. What if I were to come back home and split them there? Split you guys, now go here and we're just gonna drop on these two islands at the same time. So they're not gonna be able to raise any troops. So, are you gonna show me when you're gonna arrive? Please? Um, no, it's not gonna show me. But I assume it's gonna be the same date, right? Okay, that's nice. I'm gonna get both... I'm gonna get loot from both islands, and they're not gonna be able to defend themselves. That's cool. And it's actually probably two of his most richest province, so I don't even need to check the coast. Actually, coast also have some money, but it's a lot more dangerous to pillage the coast because he could uh, bring troops from all the from all the freaking other provinces. So, my son, have you already? Got yourself a son? Oh, but no, not really, but at least this woman is pregnant already, or eventually. Actually, you're only level, or not level, you're only age 18, so it's surprising 
they already managed to do this. I am happy about that. And hopefully your next ambition gonna be become Marshal. Probably not gonna happen. But who knows. <clears throat> we finished our small estates in here. So next thing probably I'm just gonna be keeping money for large pirate port. And with all this pillage I probably gonna... Gonna be able to get enough money pretty quickly. 80 gold in here already. Yeah, go back. Should we try to pillage any other... Uh, any other merchant republics? Because... Oh, Pentos does not seem very powerful. Let's go and visit them. Let's just try to avoid Volantis. Because Volantis have like enormous army. Oh, you only have 24,000 right now, but... Your father had like twice as much and... That was a pretty unfair deal to fight with. Also, Mir, how strong are you? They're all re relatively... Relatively the same. That's strange. I'm pretty sure they were... Uh, they were stronger than this before. Okay. Pentos. What kind of province should I choose? Or maybe I could even like go to Mirin or something like this. Or is it too far away? Actually Mirin is stronger than these guys. Okay. What about the Iron Throne? Actually, I actually have no idea if Iron Throne could declare an anti pirates war on me. If they could it's just gonna screw me completely. Okay, Pentos, I choose you. You're the closer one, even though we're gonna have to stitch on the coast, but oh well. And actually, I should have split this army even uh, more, because I think uh, I think you could uh, pillage with a max speed, having like 400 uh, troops pillaging, and... Having more than this uh, doesn't really speed up anything, so there's no real reason to have this. Actually, I couldn't pillage any more provinces because... Oh, the great... even the great arm is in the other... Uh, in the other C node. Okay, so I'm just gonna be sitting on, on Pentas itself. That's unfortunate, but okay. Already made the choice. Uh, my sister wants a husband. And she's depressed. Probably because of that, right? So, not my son, though. Get yourself... Oh, who is that? Do you want to, be... <laughs> to have a... Some of Summer Islanders? No. Uh -huh. Which one of the sisters it were? I already lost her. I remember she were depressed. Probably the youngest one, yeah. Okay, just get yourself whoever you want. Minus 100 prestige from my Rena Lord. Oh well. And he's only uh, 10 years old, so you would have to wait like 6 years. But it's fine. You're gonna be fine. So, Pentas, are you gonna raise your troops? Yes, you're already doing this. Okay, just let me... Take all the money from the capital. Actually, what is this? Oh, great arm have... Yeah, when you're pillaging, the vassals themselves are actually will to raise their own troops. Not only the, their leech. Also... Dragonstone. We have two islands. Actually, they're also in the different sea nodes. It's pretty unuseful. Maybe let's go like somewhere farther away, like whale, or this thing, 31 gold, 17 gold, let's take this, let's get all the way up to whale. I hope you're not gonna be thinking about declaring a war on me, right? Actually, who knows, if the whale uh, gonna declare a war on me separately, I'm gonna be fine with this, but if the rest of the Iron Throne gonna join him, which probably would happen. I would be screwed. Oh, 
Oh well. Such such is life of a pirate. Uh, try to stay out of factions, please. Excellent. Also, talking about factions. All from the monarchy of the Stepstones. Okay. Actually, this guy I've just threatened, right? I hope so. So he probably should leave the faction. And why the Shame Islands does not like me? Minus 14. Limited realm authority, short reign, humble, personal diplomacy. Is my diplomacy so... Yeah, my diplomacy is awful. <laughs> yeah, nothing really I could do about this. And actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So, I'm gonna be doing it right now, and we are gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer it since you could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.